Hello, everyone. Today's poem is "Bei Feng Ri Yue" by Yi Ming or by Anonymous, a Bei Wind poem from the Book of Songs. Before we start the poem, I will show a video、uh, filmed today at the Mandarin Hotel, Central Hong Kong. This is a memorial site for Leslie Chang. It's so different from previous years. It used to be full of flowers and his pictures, and crowded with the people who still remind him. For Chinese, today is also the memorial day for Wang Wei, the pilot who clashes his plane. With a U.S.、Uh, plan, nineteen、uh, years ago in the South China Sea, and this poem is my memorial to Leslie Chang and Wang Wei, and、uh, as well as my father who passed away、uh, at the end of last year. Normally, this poem was taken as a widow, a wife, blame her husband who is. Merciless, who doesn't、uh, care and love her animal, but I would rather prefer another interpretation. That this poem is a son, a daughter,、uh, memorize his parents. The title Ri Yue, the sun and the moon, normally it refers、uh, has two meanings. First is the time or the time changing. So in the、uh, Chu Zi famous Chu Zi by Qu Yuan, it has the words "Ri Yue Hu Qi Bu Yan Xi Chun Yu Qiu Qiu Qi Dai Xu." It points out very clearly the sun and moon never stops at one place, and、uh, it implies the time changing so fast. So swiftly. Another meaning of sun and moon、uh, means a person, a senior person.、Uh, most of the time, it always refers to the lord, especially the king or the emperor,、uh, because the king or the emperor is the son of God. The moon and sun is an alternative saying. Of the heaven or God, gradually,、uh, the sun and moon can also refers to parents, and it also very precisely simulates the gender. The sun is male, the moon is female, yin yang. So it's、uh, sometimes it could be refers to the parents. So in this poem, the sun and moon. Clearly indicates the time changing very fast, and also I do believe it、uh, refers to the parents passed away, and there's a, also a possibility、uh, because he used the sun and the moon to、uh, recall、uh, his parents, so this family could be the、uh, most prestigious. Family in this land, and、uh, there's a saying: this poem was written by the people of、uh, Shang, the dynasty, before the Zhou dynasty, and、uh, they lost their power, their regime. So this poem is the descendants,、uh, not only、uh, remind their. Parents, their ancestors, but also their past glory. So he borrowed the words "sun" and "moon" to reflect their glory and their regime and their thrones in the past. Okay, let's look at the poem now. 日居月主，照临下土。The sun take its rest, and the moon. Is at above. It shines on the earth below. 
So this simple sentence has a lot of things in the background. So in the ancient China,、uh, when the sun goes down, the saying, the story is the sun take a rest at a, a specific place. So the 日居 it tells us very clearly the sun、uh, take a rest. The sun goes down. 主 it means at. So the the at the night time the moon came out and shines on the ground, and the the ground has a very very strong implication、uh, for two group of people. The poet. The people who are still alive, and、uh, the people buried under beneath the ground, the dead people, their parents. By Chinese philosophy, the moon and the sun is also yin and yang, so it also、uh, strongly associated with、uh, death and、uh, alive. So with such simple eight characters, it expresses so many things:、uh, the life and dead, the people standing on the ground, and the sti- people under beneath, and the time passing so quickly and never stops. And it's also very clearly, it's writing about the night time, the moon. Most probably, a full moon is above the poet's head, so you can see so many、uh, moon poetries. Actually, was deeply originated、uh, from this poem. The second pair of sentences, 乃如知人兮，是不古兮 It just like the person passed away. It goes away and never stay at the very original place. So the character 知人 the people who goes, go away. So actually here refers to the parents, the dead people. So the second pair of sentences actually、uh, simulates his parents to the moon and、uh, sun.、Uh, Surrounding and goes all the time, but never stops. Never stay at at the very original place. So he, because in the past time when the parents still alive, they stay in the same big house. And if this poem is writing about the king of the Shang Dynasty, the previous king of the Shang Dynasty. It may very clearly indicate that their temple, the family temple, has been demolished, because in the Chinese philosophy, the people died. It's just like the people are、uh, still alive; they still live under the same roof. So, in a family's house, even in today's Uh, countryside, you can see the uh, the ancestors' uh, name was carved on a wood panel and placed in the hall of that family. So the panel represents the dead people, the parents, the grandparents, the ancestors of this family. So that means the dead people is always.、Uh, With the f- people still alive, and here it said, "Ah, 事不古处 They uh, our parents or our ancestors goes and doesn't stay at the very original place. So it most probably implies the temple of the family was demolished by the Zhou Dynasty, and、uh, he can never see her." Uh, see their ancestors anymore, because as far as the temple is still there, the panel carved with the name still there. For the Chinese, especially the ancient Chinese, they feel they still 
with their ancestors, with their parents. 湖能有定，宁我不顾。How can I make it stopped? Why would you insist not look back to me? What does it mean? So this is a question. What the first to the sun and moon all the time. The the second question is to his parents, his ancestors. So the first question is, why does the sun and the moon stops? Why can how how could you make the time stops? And the second question is to the parents and to the ancestors. Why do you never look back to me? Because when you still alive or your your panels still in the family temples, when I see your panels or when I see the parents, you, of course you turn back and see me as well. So we the the relations is、uh, mutual is an interactive. But now I. Looked. I want to look at you, or maybe I can look at you, but you never look back. What a sad feelings. The second paragraph. 日居月主，夏土失貌。The sun takes its rest and go down, and the moon is above. The earth down. Beneath, covered this. So here is more making more clearly and make the focal point more clearly. The, the something covered beneath the earth, the tomb, right, the cemetery, right, and the beneath is the ancestors, the parents. 乃如知人兮，事不相好。So it, it's just like the. Person or the parents, the ancestors, gone away, passed away. They goes, they go away and cannot take care of.、Uh, we we cannot take care of each other. The live and the dead cannot take care of each other. Cannot love、uh, of each other. How can the dead people? Uh, love and take care of the live people or、uh, mutually. So, in the believing of the ancient Chinese, the ancestors they will send fortune and uh, uh, to to the descendants to the live people. The live people will back the fortune from their、uh, ancestors in the family temple. And in other way, the live people should serve the family temple with foods and、uh, fruits, a lot of things to show their care, to take care of their ancestors as well. So it's mutual ways. The ancestors、uh, gave the fortune to the、uh, live people. The live people will. Uh, serve the ancestors with lot of things with ceremonies. 湖能有定，宁我不报。So, how can you make it stop? How can you how can you make the time stop? Don't let my parents gone away. Don't let my ancestors' temple gone away. Uh, why would you insist that? I cannot reward you. Bow has two meanings. Bow is reply, answer someone, and、uh, also it has another meaning to reward to the ancestors, reward to the parents.、Uh, so the second paragraph basically is quite different,、uh, similar to the first paragraph, but it moves the. Uh, it makes the feelings more deeply, more sadly. Why would you go away? That even I want to、uh, 
、uh, reward of my parents, reward my ancestors, but I cannot. Why would you do that way? Now the third paragraph. 日居月主出自东方 ，the sun goes down and the moon is above my head. They are all from the east. So this also is a very very strong implication that、uh, this poem is a memorial to the ancestor or the king of the Shang Dynasty, because at the Zhou Dynasty, they are the Western people, and the previous、uh, Shang Dynasty, they are the East Eastern people. So here, as far as refers to the East, is a very very strong implication to the Shang Dynasty. Like the another poem, Jian Xi, it、uh, refers to the Zhou people as the Xi Fang Mei Ren, the beauty from the West. So that's a very very strong implication here. 乃如知人兮，得音无量。It just like the、uh, person passed away, the the virtue in the sound, his virtue, his deed, his sound doesn't last. Liang means last. Uh, it's a quite long time. So it means the their virtue their. Sound doesn't、uh, didn't last. This also implicates、uh, that the dynasty、uh, changed. 胡能有定，彼也可忘。How can I make the sun and the moon stopped? How can I make the time stopped? So I can let all those sadness, misfortunes. My memories to be forgot. Be let let me. So the third paragraph actually gave us a very、uh, as a very important clue that his parents or his ancestors are from the east. So this actually、uh, implies very very strongly they are the people of the Shang people. And、uh, even the dynasty changed; the, they still treat them、uh, as Shang people, and they still、uh, have a very, very strong memories on their past glory, on their ancestors. The fourth paragraph: 日居月主，东方自出。The sun goes down. The full moon. Is above my head. They are all from the east. So, 出自东方，东方自出 Uh, in the third paragraph, they are same. Uh, actually, but they change the sequence of the wording to make the there's a little bit change on the writing and makes the uh poem when you're reading it is more dynamic. 父兮母兮，恤我不足。So at the very last paragraph, the poet indicated very directly, "My father, my mother, you didn't take care of me to the very end. She was take care of,、uh, brought up the kids, uh, to to the last at the very end." So here,、uh, it may be a little bit、uh, hard to understand, but for the、uh, Asian Chinese, it's quite natural that the、uh, we don't talk love. That the dad love his son, the mother love his son. In the Asian Chinese literature, it's all about take care of or feed up. So we don't have the words love. So whenever you see, we try to express the feelings between humans, 
no matter it's between you know, within a family or between men and women or between friends, it's、uh, how they sh-、uh, show their kindness.、Uh, so in the poem in the Han Dynasty, 上言加餐饭 So so I said I would、uh, feed you more、uh, food. I want to give you more delicious food. And in the Tang poetry, 慈母手中线，游子身上衣 The mother never say a word about love. The mother just make very, very good and warm clothes for the sons. So that's the love. So here,、uh, if we translate in, into English,、uh, it's just like father, mother, you love me, but you don't love me. To the very end, 恤我不足 In the Chinese way, you don't feed up, you don't brought me up to the very end, because the parents dead. So of course he uh, cannot uh, love or feed the children to the very end. And、uh, there's also a very very strong implication that you don't give me. Gave me the turn that gave me the chance. I can take care of you when you when you are, you are very very old. There is a very popular Chinese idiom, 子欲养而亲不待 The kids want to take care of the parents, but the parents has gone. So this is. The very situation in of this second pair of sentence, 父亲母亲恤我不足 So it does not express the feeling that my parents, you can never love me, take care of me of me anymore. It also express the feeling that I'm capable enough, I'm mature enough, I want to take care of you, my parents. But you never gave me the chance. You all has gone, and this also could be applied to the ancestors, because、uh, the family temples、uh, in the ancient China, the live people serve the、uh, family temple timely in different seasons to serve the food, to serve the fruit, to the.、Uh, f- Families' temples. That's also take care of, take care of the dead, take care of the ancestors. So this also applies no matter it refers to the parents, to the ancestors.、Uh, it's the same things. The last pair of sentences. 胡能有定，报我不恕 How can I make the sun and the moon stop? How can I make the time stops? I can never reward my parents. I can never take care of my parents, my ancestor, anymore. 不恕 means do something again. So here refers I cannot take care of my parents anymore. So this. Is the most saddest、uh, feelings for a kid. This is a very simple poem, and through the four paragraphs, it makes the sadness deeper and deeper. And at the last, the most saddest feelings is, I can never see my parents again. I can never take care. Of you anymore? I can never love you anymore. What's the saddest feelings? And the, the talented writing is、uh, he related the f-、uh, love to the parents, the memorial to the parents, to the sun and moon, which is always there. So if you have ever Read this poem and moved by this poem. The next time when you see the sun, 
when you see the moon, it's quite easily arise the feeling, uh, depict in this poem, 日居月烛 So you can see feel how strong and how genius this poem、uh, shows us. And for today's people, we are not reminded by the nature wonders, the suns, the moons, the、uh, green grass, the wind, the rain, the snows. For a passed away person, for heroes, we only could think about him. Again, during the Memorial Day, once a year, like、uh, today, April first, for the Chinese people, Wang Wei, Zhang Guorong. That's the two names for today. Okay, that's for today, and I wish you enjoy it. Bye bye.